We oppose objectification of women, but how about those who are not women? How about the Olympic champion, Nira Chopra? How about a female interviewer and her female colleagues performing a dance in front of him during a video interview? Recently, Nira Chopra was video interviewed by a radio jockey who, along with several other females, decided to perform a dance in front of the athlete on a Bollywood song. The words of the song go like this. Uden jab jab zulfenteri, kavarion kadil machle. It is not yet clear what the true intention of the radio jockey and her colleagues was, but the question is if these kinds of acts objectify sports people like Nira Chopra or others who would rather want to be known for their achievement in sports. In this particular case, opinions were divided. There were those who found it funny, but a large number of netizens criticized this. Several netizens on Twitter even asked how it would look if, instead of Niraj, it was a female athlete being interviewed by a male journalist who would perform a dance with his male colleagues singing a Bollywood song. Wouldn't that be disrespectful, embarrassing or uncomfortable for the female athlete? But as far as reversing genders in a given scenario is concerned, we can easily have many uncomfortable situations. Allow me to mention one example that almost everyone else seems to have ignored. Perhaps you may have come across movies in which an injury to male genitals is portrayed as humorous or a funny situation. Not only that, if you are watching those kinds of scenes with females, don't be surprised if you notice female viewers giggling or laughing while watching those scenes. Even in public spaces like cinema halls, you may hear females giggling or laughing while watching scenes in which a male has received a traumatic blow to his private parts. No, I am not talking about those movie scenes in which women in their self-defense hit back at a man or the scenes from action movies. I am talking about the movie scenes in which a man has accidentally received a blow to his private part, and as viewers, we are supposed to receive that as something funny or normal. For example, even the film Yesterday, which is supposed to be watched by families and kids, has exactly that kind of troubling scene. But to me, it seems that there can be several objections to this. Why do these movie makers portray the injury to male private parts as something funny? And how would it look if we reverse the genders there? In the context of an injury to private parts, can you imagine how angry we would be if males laughed in a cinema hall watching an injured female on the screen? Yes, it is true that for generations many women around the world have lived in conditions which have largely given the power and control to men. But if we truly want to create a well-balanced, healthy society, can we afford to ignore misandry and what they term as reverse sexism? There is nothing wrong in opposing patriarchy and the institutions that systemically oppress women, but in that fight, let us not forget that we need both men and women to participate, and we need an environment that is fair and just to all, regardless of their gender. See you again.